Welcome to the Sage 50 Cloud Pastel Counting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how journals work when using Sage 50 Cloud Pastel Counting. Firstly, select Process Journals. The Process Journal screen will display. You will notice a number of entry types you can choose from. Select an entry type, for example, General Journal. You can then select the settings option to choose how you will process the transactions. You can choose to process the transactions in this year by ticking the option or in last year by unticking the option. You can also choose to repeat descriptions and projects. This means that once you have processed your first transaction, the descriptions and projects will be repeated for all transactions that you capture. If you are using Sage Pastel Partner as well as the multi-currency add-on module, you can choose whether you are processing these transactions using multi-currency or not, and whether you wish to invoke open item. Invoke open item will only occur when processing customer and supplier transactions. You can then also choose whether you wish to show balloon tips or not, and whether you wish to increment your reference numbers. We strongly advise that you use unique reference numbers to avoid consolidation and that the option to increment reference numbers is selected. You can then choose whether you wish to process using tax or not. If you do not select the tax option, you will notice that you only have a debit and credit column. When you are processing a transaction without capturing tax, you would select your account. When you then are choosing whether it is a debit or a credit, this refers to the account column. You would enter your value and then move on to the next column. In this instance, we are debiting the sales account with 10,000 Rand. We will then enter a contra account. The contra account will then be credited with the exact same value. If, however, you do choose to use tax, you would first need to delete the line if you did accidentally capture it and then go into your settings. You will tick the option tax processing. We strongly advise that you do set up a default tax type. For example, tax type 15, which is your 15% standard rated VAT. The reason for this is that tax type 00 is not included on tax reports and if you accidentally forget to include the tax type, it will be very difficult to find this transaction. You then enter your period and date as per normal and enter the account that you wish to process to. When using tax, the account is always inclusive. You will then enter your inclusive or exclusive price. You will notice that you also now have a DC column. In this instance, I am choosing to debit the sales account with 2000 Rand because the account is always inclusive and that is my inclusive value. When I then go to my contra account, what will occur is that the exclusive value will be credited to my contra account and the difference between the exclusive and the inclusive value will be credited to the VAT control account, therefore making my credits and debits equal. So the account is always inclusive, the DC column refers to what you are doing to the account and the contra is always exclusive and the opposite occurs to the contra. This is how Pastel works when processing journals that include tax.